हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑन क्लासिक प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ सिंक्रोनाइजेशन बिफोर वी मूव फॉरवर्ड हियर इज द लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी यूनिकली आइडेंटिफाई द कॉन्करेंसी इन प्रोसेस सिंक्रोनाइजेशन the producer consumer process share the following data structure that is integer n semaphore mutex value assigned to 1 semaphore empty assigned to n semaphore full assigned to 0 here we assume that the pool consists of n buffers and each capable of holding one atom the mutex semaphore provides mutual exclusion for accesses to the buffer pool and it is initialized to the value 1 the empty and full semaphores count the number of empty and full buffers the semaphore empty is initialized to the value n and the semaphore full is initialized to the value 0 the code for the producer process that was discussed in the previous session now here the code for the consumer process is shown in the figure here note that this identical between the producer and the consumer here note that the symmetry between the producer and the consumer we can interpret this particular code in a producer consumer here you have to note that the symmetry between the producer and the consumer we can interpret this particular code the producer producing the full buffers for consumer or as the consumer producing the empty buffers for producer as you can see in this particular structure so suppose that the database is to be shared among several concurrent processes some of these processes may want to only read database whereas others may want to update that is read and write operations on the database here we will distinguish between these two types of processes by referring to the former as a reader and the latter as a writer however if two readers access the shared data simultaneously no adverse effects will result but if a writer and some other types access the database simultaneously then chao may ensure the other processes means either a reader or a writer to ensure that these difficulties do not arise so here we require that the writers have exclusive access to the shared database while writing to the database this synchronization problem is referred as the reader writers problem but it was originally stated it has been used to test nearly every new synchronization primitive the reader writer problem has several variations and all having priorities the simple one it is referred to as the first reader writers problem which requires that no reader be kept waiting unless a writer has already obtained permissions to use this shared object in other words no reader should wait for the other readers to finish simply because of writing writers are waiting the second reader writer problems requires that once a writer is ready that writer performs it right as soon as possible which means that if a writer is waiting to access the object no new readers may start reading a solution to 
this particular problem may result in starvation. So in the first case, the writers may starve and in the second case, the readers may starve. For this reason, the varied problems have been proposed. Here, we present the solution for the first reader writers problem. In this solution, the first reader writer problem, the reader processes share the following data structure. Semaphore read write mutex which is assigned to 1, semaphore mutex assigned to 1 and the integer read count which is assigned to 0. The semaphore's mutex and the read write mutex are initialized to 1. Read count is initialized to 0. The semaphore read write mutex is common to both reader and writer processes. The mutex semaphore is used to ensure mutual exclusion when the variable read count is updated. The read count variable keeps track of how many processes are currently reading the subject. The read count variable keeps track of how many processes are currently reading the object. The semaphore read write mutex functions as mutual exclusion semaphore for the writers. The code for writer process is shown in the figure. The readers writer problems and its solution which has been generalized to provide reader writer logs on some systems. Here acquiring a reader writer logs requires specifying the mode of lock, either read or write access. When a process wishes to only read shared data, it requests the reader writer logs in the read mode. A process wishing to modify the shared data must request the log in write mode. The dining philosopher's problem. Here consider five philosophers who spend their lives thinking and reading. The philosophers shared a circular table surrounding by chairs each belonging to one philosopher. Here in the center of the table is a bowl of rice. Here in the center of the table is a bowl of rice and the table is laid with five single chopsticks as shown in figure. When a philosopher thinks, she does not interact with her colleagues. From time to time, a philosopher gets hungry and tries to pick up two chopsticks that are closest to her, means that the chopsticks that are between her and her left and right neighbors. From time to time, a philosopher gets hungry and tries to pick the two chopsticks that are closest to her. A philosopher may pick up only one chopstick at a time. However, she cannot pick up a chopstick that is already in the hand of a neighbor. When a hungry philosopher has both her chopsticks, at the same time she eats without releasing the chopsticks. When she is finished eating, she puts down both chopsticks and start thinking again. The dining philosopher's problem is considered classic synchronization problem, neither because of its practical importance nor because computer scientists dislike philosophers but because it is an example of a large class of concurrency control problems. Here it is a simple representation of the need to allocate several resources among several processes in a deadlock free and starvation free manner. A philosopher tries to grab a chopsticks by executing weight operation on the semaphore 
and she releases her chopsticks by executing the signal operation on the appropriate semaphores here the solution guarantees that that no two neighbors are eating simultaneously all elements of chopsticks will now be equal to zero when each philosopher tries to grab her right chopstick she will be delayed forever here pause the video think and answer here is the answer answer is a this is my reference thank you